Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video. This time bringing you some of my picks for the most powerful and effective builds you can set up once you get access to level 2 traders. Things have become a bit different now that the market is locked up until level 20, so you'll need to get more familiar with what the traders sell at these levels, because you can definitely put together some good setups using parts that are available from the traders, and some nice little additions from the flea market once you hit level 20. For this video, I'll be focusing mainly on items that you can get from the traders, but since mechanic level 2 is unlocked at the same time that you get the flea market, and he is really one of the most important suppliers of weapon parts, I'll be including some items that you can check for on the market as well. This doesn't cover everything that is worth using at level 2 traders, but these would be my picks for the most reliable and cost effective builds for this stage in the game. So with that introduction out of the way, let's get started with what I would say is the best bang for your buck M4A1 build that you can make using level 2 traders. This build is a little bit complex to set up purely from the traders because you're going to need to buy every single piece from scratch and build the rifle from the ground up. It takes some extra clicks, but it also saves you some cash, so it's pretty worth it. If you're building from an M4 that you found in a weapon crate, there is one major change to the build, but it's nothing too crazy. To start off, you need to buy the following parts from the traders to build the base of the rifle. A 406mm AR-15 barrel from Skier, the upper and lower M4 receivers from Mechanic, the MK-12 low profile gas block from Mechanic, the AR-15 charging handle from Mechanic, and then the Colt buffer tube from either Skier or Peacekeeper. Once you have all these pieces, just drag and drop them together in your stash and you have a bare bones M4A1 ready to be built. Next up, I get the MOE SL AR-15 handguard from Skier Level 2, which is the best handguard available at this level, but it only fits on the 406mm barrel. This handguard needs M-lock rails to add attachments, which you can get from Mechanic Level 2 for a cheap price. For the grip, you want to go with the RK4 from Skier Level 2, and then I like to add the X400 flashlight as well. If you're building this from an M4 that you already found, just replace this handguard with the KAC RIS handguard from Peacekeeper Level 2. It doesn't have any recoil improvements, but it is cheaper and it doesn't require extra rails. Next, I add the Chris DS-150 stock from Peacekeeper Level 2, which is a pretty good budget M4 stock available really early on. For the muzzle device, I like to add the KAC QD Compensator from Peacekeeper onto my lower level builds. It's a pretty cheap upgrade, and if you have the flea market unlocked, you can also spend about 30,000 rubles for the NT4 suppressor. This reduces your recoil by quite a lot, but it's also the most expensive part on the build if you do decide to buy it. Next, I add the DLG-123 pistol grip from Skier Level 2 for some extra ergonomics, and then a sight. And for this example build, I added the EOTech 553 hollow sight from Peacekeeper Level 2. When this build is all put together, you get about 72 recoil and around 60 ergonomics for about 100,000 rubles total. If you add the suppressor, this changes to 57 recoil and 42 ergonomics for about 130,000 rubles total. This M4 build, especially with the suppressor, is pretty solid early on until you can unlock more upgrades. It's not too crazy expensive, and in my opinion it looks pretty nice, so it's a fun build for the mid game. Next up for this video, I want to showcase a build that is much simpler to put together compared to that complicated M4. For my second pick, I'm going with the RFB from Peacekeeper Level 2, a relatively new addition that has basically completely replaced the Vepper Hunter in my mid-game lineup. The RFB is a really simple weapon. It doesn't have many extra parts, it's not crazy expensive, and it fires the heavy-hitting 7.62x51 round. You can buy M80 rounds for $3 from Peacekeeper, you can get 20 round SA-58 mags for this thing at the same level you unlock it, and all around, it's a really effective choice. Basically, it costs the same price as a Vepper Hunter, but with double the magazine size, better stats, and a smaller overall size. It's a 100% upgrade for about the same price, and it's kind of criminally overlooked in my opinion. I started using this fairly heavily during this current patch, and honestly, I've kind of fallen in love with this weird little rifle. For the build, you only need 4 parts total to improve the stats basically as much as is possible with level 2 traders. First, you want to get the RFB Thread Spacer from Peacekeeper Level 1, which allows you to add a muzzle device. For my choices here, I use the 2A X3 Compensator from Mechanic Level 2, but if you don't have this unlocked yet, Peacekeeper also sells the KAC 7.62 Compensator at Level 2, which is about the same stats and same price. Next, you want to add the RK4 Grip for a little extra recoil control and ergonomics, but sadly you can't add any tactical devices like a flashlight to the RFB. 
Finally, you just need to add a site to finish the build off. This is really up to your preference, but I've been really loving the RFB with the Monstrum 2x scope from Jaeger level 2. It's got a really nice sight picture now after the rework, and it's useful at both close range and longer distances. When it's all put together, you end up with 140 recoil and about 48 ergonomics for a total cost of around 100,000 rubles, or about 85,000 rubles if you use a cheaper red dot sight. The RFB is a great choice for patient marksmen who want a hard-hitting, accurate setup in the early game. It's not ideal for close-range fights, but on larger maps, I find it actually kind of kicks ass, and I highly recommend it. Next up for this video, I just want to quickly go over the ideal AK build at level 2 traders. This has been covered a lot, so I'll make it quick and just kind of blast through this setup. Honestly, the AKs are kind of the best all-around guns at this stage of the game, since you can get some of the best budget upgrades available for them once you get level 2 traders. This, plus the fact that they don't jam as much as some other guns, makes them sort of my go-to setup for almost every raid through the mid-game. I'm going to show the build on an AK-74N, because if you watched my last builds video, you'll already know how to make these in infinite quantities, but this build will work on any full-sized AK rifle. Starting from the muzzle, you want the DTK-1 compensator from Skier, which can be fitted onto the AKM as well using a TT muzzle adapter. Next, get the CAA RS-47 handguard from Peacekeeper Level 2, and add the RK-4 grip and the X-400 flashlight onto the rails. After this, replace the dust cover with the Bastion dust cover and add a cheap red dot sight like the Cobra Reflex from Jaeger Level 1. For the stock, you want to leave the default stock on your AK and then add the GP25 rubber butt pad from Proper, which reduces your recoil by quite a bit for very low cost. For the pistol grip, you can leave the default one attached or go ahead and buy the Tapco saw style grip from Peacekeeper for a pretty big ergonomics boost. Finally, you can also add the RP1 charging handle for another point of ergonomics. With this build, you end up with about 63 recoil on the AK-74 and about 85 recoil on the AKM, with about 55 ergonomics on both, for a total cost of 50,000 rubles in parts, plus whatever the cost of the rifle is, and this can vary a lot depending on whether you found it, crafted it, bought it on the market, or bought it from the traders. These builds can be set up for a pretty great price, they perform really well, Ammo is really easy to acquire, and they come back in insurance more than some fancier weapons, so I will always swear by the AKs for the early and the mid game. Next up, I just want to quickly go over a simple and fairly cheap setup for the MP5 once you hit level 20 and unlock Mechanic level 2 in the flea market. This lets you suppress the MP5 and add a sight for fairly cheap, so it's definitely worth knowing about. Later on, after you unlock the MP5 SD for purchase from Peacekeeper, you're better off using that version. But this one is available earlier on, depending on how hard you hit Peacekeeper's quests in the early game. First up, you want to buy the MP5 3 lug threaded protector from Mechanic level 2, which then allows you to attach the Rotor 4 43 9x19 suppressor, which is usually only about 10 to 15,000 rubles on the flea market. Next, you can get the MFI HK scope mount from Peacekeeper Level 1, which allows you to add a sight onto the MP5. As of making this video, this part is sold out quite a lot of the time, but if you can get it, it's the cheapest way to add a sight to the MP5. For the choice of optic, it's really up to you, but I like to use the Cobra sight from Jaeger just because it's fairly cheap and really easy to get. That's literally the entire build, and when it's set up, you get 43 recoil and 53 ergonomics for a total cost of around 70,000 rubles, depending on how much the suppressor is going for on the market. This build is really simple to set up, and it's particularly good for running around interchange and quietly taking down scavs for Ragman. The last build that I want to quickly go over is basically an alternative to the MP5, with a simple suppressed PP19 setup. This is pretty similar to the one I suggested in my early white builds, so I'm going to be pretty quick with this section. First up, get a PP19 for 20,000 rubles from Proper, then head over to the flea market and look for the Vityaz Sound Suppressor, which is about the same price as the cheap rotor suppressor you use on the MP5, but with better stats. Next, grab the AK100 handguard from Proper Level 1, and then add the RK4 grip from Skier for a little more recoil improvement. You can also add a flashlight to this handguard as well if you want to spend the extra rubles. You can replace the AK-100 handguard with the CAA handguard that you used on the AK build in this video, but honestly I don't think it's worth it unless you have plenty of USD to spend and you want to improve the stats a bit more. Next for an optic you can add the cheap dovetail cobra sight from proper level 1 or the OKP-7 OK from skier level 2 as well. Finally, the last part on this build is the GP-25 recoil pad for improved recoil stats. 
This build ends up with 42 recoil and around 50 ergonomics for a total cost of about 75 to 80,000 rubles, about the same as the MP5 build. This setup is pretty solid and is basically a slower firing competitor to the budget MP5 build, with cheaper magazines. It's up to you whether you want a faster kill time with the MP5 or more controllable recoil with the PP19. Well that pretty much covers it for my recommendations for some effective builds at the level 2 traders that strike a nice balance between being a budget build and improving the stats as much as possible. There's a few other setups available using level 2 traders that I do sort of want to talk about, but they're a little more unorthodox or they're more expensive than I think they're worth, but I might end up covering them in a separate video. I hope these builds work well for you if you try them out, and don't hesitate to let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for checking out the video. I've got links to my Twitch stream, Discord server, and Patreon page down below for anyone interested. And until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City.